So you can't do pull-ups? Well, here's five easy tips to be able to do them like no tomorrow. Coach's timeout, real quick before everyone blows up our comment section about this, you're gonna be asking, what is the difference between a chin up and a pull up? Simply put, chin up, hands a little bit closer, palms facing towards you, and then a pull up is gonna be a little bit wider, palms facing away from you. If you want an amazing detailed video on the difference, second link in the description, but every tip we give you today can apply to either the chin up or the pull up, let's get into it. Quickly before we show you um, some of the actual things you can do to start grooving the pattern, getting comfortable in the exercise, I wanna let you know that we offer an online fitness coaching service and our aim is to help people go from good to great. So if you're on here watching instructional videos, you're learning from us and other people, come join our community where we've helped transform over 400 people. We have an over 90% success rate that people that apply. So once again, helping people go from being good, being average, to being amazing. You know, we take care of everything, training, nutrition, planning, unlimited check-ins, form guides, program that is tailored to you to make sure you're progressing as fast as possible, as safely as possible. So if you'd like to learn more about that, hit that first link in the description down below and get in contact with us to let us know you came from this video and we would love to get you on board at a special price. Number one is getting comfortable hanging yourself on a bar. So just go to the gym, find a way to get yourself up comfortable. Uh, for me, this one's relatively low. I don't need to like hyper extend. I can start on my tippy toes. And here I am, I'm just hanging out. Now as simple as this looks, a lot of people will struggle and they'll give out. And the first thing you need to do is get comfortable holding and supporting your weight in this position. Um, so I recommend being able to do about at least 30 seconds before attempting the chin up. So if you hop up here and you only can do five seconds, that's completely cool. Just build it up over time. Get a friend to time, you know, come in and say, I'm gonna do 10 seconds next time. And keep training these, you know, you can do these daily. You learn to support your weight. Once you have this mastered and you've achieved that 30 seconds, you're gonna get comfortable holding yourself above the bar. So if you can't do the chin up, you can't get in this position. You're gonna say, how the heck can I do that? Easy thing you can do, you just grab one of these pins here. Um, you can kind of just pop it anywhere on one of these guys. Now this gives me a little step, right? I can kind of walk up. You can always just get a bench, anything. Try and hold yourself above that bar. If you can hold yourself up here for about 10 seconds, so you're in pretty good hands. So it's getting comfortable being able to really hold and contract in these positions. And as you can see with Kyle, he's squeezing his abs the whole time. He's squeezing his glutes. He's staying strong and controlled. He's not trying to wiggle. He's not hyperextending the back. And that's tip number uno. And next up, step number two is we have the negative. So for those of you who um, just have a bench and you wanted to use that, just show you how to utilize this within this next movement. So basically, we're gonna get into the top starting position and our goal is to go five seconds on the way down. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and obviously reset. You're not gonna be able to do a full pull up just yet. Bring yourself back up and then control it all the way down. If you feel like it's too easy, you can increase the reps. I'm gonna say three by five seconds is a good start, but you can also increase it to 10 seconds just to make it a lot tougher, okay? 10, nine. You guys get the point. So number three is a scap up. So the reason it's super important is if I try to pull myself up with my body weight forward, it doesn't work, right? Your body can't get in that position. That's why you need to learn to retract your scapula in this position to pull yourself up and really get that chest up to the bar. I prefer thinking chest to the bar as opposed to chin to the bar. Chin to the bar, a lot of people go like this and that's why you get that little heave where it's chest up to the bar, you get a much cleaner boom. So the first way you can train this motion is by training your scapula. So it's these big wingy boys right here on your back. Um, and it's just teaching yourself to retract them in the hanging position. So as you can see Kyle doing here in the B-roll, he's just retracting. You know, you can do a set of 20 of these, right? Like you could do a hefty amount of these. Try and follow these tips in order. And you can try running through all of them in a workout. It will really help you out and you'll learn super quick. So that's number three. So now we are on step four. We've practiced retracting the scapula. You guys are used to controlling on the way down. You guys are used to just holding onto the bar. This is where it gets a little bit more real. So we have four ways to assist. My personal favorite is the band. Now this can be a little bit scary, especially for people just um, by themselves who don't have anyone to help them with the band. But my personal favorite way to do it is just hold on to something like this and then hold on for a second, put the knee in here, and then this band will add some nice resistance. So pull yourself all the way up, control if you want on the way down, and this band will just give you a nice little kick. You can really sink into the band and allow it to kind of pop you up, get comfortable in the motion. That's number one, we got three more beauties for you. 
Next up, we've got assistance from the ground. Okay, so you see Josh resetting down at the bottom. You can practice and mix in all the techniques we've taught you. You can go nice and fast and all the way down. You can pause at the top for a second and then control, and then from the bottom, explode up, or you can just yeah, do all that good stuff. And next up, we've got assistance from your actual feet. Now this is a great tip, we got it from our friend Michelle. Um, and basically this is great also for anyone who's just maybe overweight but still wants to try to do a pull up. You can regress and do this before anything else possible. Um, so basically you're gonna be starting all the way at the very bottom and then how you're gonna do it is pull up, initiate with your back, retract your scapula, and then the, the top portion, you're gonna be using your legs to assist the lift and it's just fantastic. Your feet aren't gonna be coming off the ground, but you're gonna be doing a nice assisted pull up with support from your legs to get all the way to the top. And last but not least, we don't have access to it here, but you can actually use an assisted chin up machine at a lot of public gyms have. Um, so you can actually use counterweight. So if you really wanna have an easy time doing it, you can load up the counterweight to 200 pounds. And if you're 205 pounds, it's gonna be doing pretty much all of it for you. Once again, a lot of it is building the strength but a lot of it is really getting comfortable in the pattern. And then before you know it, just keep playing with these tips, follow them in succession. You'll be able to bang out one or two and then just keep going off that, you know, try heavier bands, lighter bands, and you'll be doing a lot of these very frequently. There you go, you have graduated. Just keep in mind, you can do so many different fun variations. Here's the underhand grip, which is the chin up, which is obviously a little bit easier. The neutral grip, which is fantastic. Uh, and then you can do the, some of these cool fun ones where you're going to the side to switch it up a little bit and then just overall pull up. Practice it, have fun with it, and enjoy. And then if you guys really enjoy this video, make sure to smash like. Uh, we can make like a part two where we can do more complicated advanced things like weighted pull-ups, uh, chin-ups, all that great stuff, and then some other really cool variations. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something today, please hit subscribe and share with a friend so everyone can be smashing out some pull-ups because it is a killer exercise.